In this video, we're going to be using the Talbot Male Frankenlon and the Above the Tie SSRH Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And before we get into the content today, I want to remind you that this video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf. We'll pop up the leaf and the twig right there, which you know I use and I love. I've always loved the, the leaf since it came out and then the twig came out and you know I love it. Anyway, if you would like to get 5% off, use discount code IMCDB right there to get 5% off your order. And remember, at leaf, care for the places you care about. All right, and into the shave we go today. First, let's talk about the soap, which is this is a Talbot shaving male grooming i am told it's male the sean i believe is his name the gent from male uh, sort of coached me up on that the other day thank you sean and this has a very very nice scent and you know talbot the quality of talbot soap is quite good i love the firmness of this base this is not a soft and goopy base it is quite firm to the touch so you're going to get good value out of this even though it's 20 dollars for four ounces which is $5 an ounce on our cost chart. Because it's firm, I think the price is probably, it normally would be in the pricier range. I think it's at least fair because this base is firm. I like it a lot. And the scent on this, I wish it had a little more pop to it. Um, so for example, C4 C Spice Lime, it's like, hey, you want some of this? Blam, citrus in your face, like it's in your face. This one is like, hey, hey, psst, psst, come on over here, give me a whiff. It's good, right? It's good, right? You'd like a little more, wouldn't you? But no, no, no. But anyway, yes, uh, this is a nice scent. I call it slightly below medium. I like what I'm getting. I wish I got a little more of it because it's really good. I'm going to put the notes for you right here. We have frankincense, lime, pink grapefruit, orange, lemon, uh, lavender, rose. Really, really nice scent. So I expect to have an excellent shave from this today. And the ease of use was off the charts. I'll show you a picture or two of the lather there. It was very easy to work with, which is big for me. I really like soaps that lather easily and you don't have to spend all day or uh, you don't have to keep going back to the product to add more and more and more. So really nice. This is a tallow based soap. We show you the ingredients right there. And again, um, I look forward to using this today. And Sean, uh, the gent that, um, Male said, hey, you should get the splash. I'm really proud of it. So I will definitely pick that up. So we're looking forward to it today. So today we're going to be using the Above the Tide. This is the SSRH razor. Now, in September, um, Above the Tide raised their prices back up to 185 but that's just what they were 10 years ago. So it's not like much of an increase. It was more like they took away the, <laughs> the, the decrease. But anyway, this is the... Um, what I say it was SSRH. I think it's the SSRH. I forget sometimes with those, uh, the way they label their razors, but anyway, there's a look at it. It is a nice razor above the tie has been around about 10 years. Now this is quite an efficient razor 0.80 blade gap, but they rated it at eight out of nine in aggression. So it's fairly efficient, but above the tie, they have the M plate, which is going to be on a mild side, the R, which is sort of the middle. And then the H, which is their most uh, efficient offering. And you know me, I have to do the old, what I call the Atlas. Uh, what do I call this? I don't even know what I call this. But anyway, the Atlas twist. I just hold it in my hands and it'll just spin because of that barber pole knurling. I, I just like doing that. I'm easily entertained. What can I say? But anyway, above the tie, if you want to get 10% off your order, use IMCDB right there. And uh, that's an affiliate link. So it helps the channel too. Uh, if you use it, but if you're going to buy an above the tie razor, you may as well save some money, especially since the price went back up to their original 185, which was originally what the premium razors cost. Now they're way above that. So above the tie, I would say still reasonably priced relative to other premium razor makers, uh, stainless steel made in the USA. Uh, the, oh, the blade, let's, for, let's not forget about the blade. The blade today is the sharp seven o'clock. And it says Swiss quality on there. I don't know if it's actually made in Switzerland, but it says Swiss quality. So we'll see. We'll see what that Swiss quality is about. And let's get into it. We're going to start by just misting the face. And this is just plain water. And if you're new, I'm just wetting the face rather than splashing. Oh, bumping the camera there. That's never good. <laughs> rather than splashing water in the face, the misting, I just think, makes it more consistent. And uh, there is our brush for today, which is the AP Shave Coat uh handcrafted series i only brought two brushes with me i thought i brought three but only brought two and there's a look at that 
very nice, affordable brush. All right, cashmere or not, let's get into it today. Oh man, this does smell nice. I know I'm gonna like this. I wish it had a little more scent. It's kind of like playing hard to get with the scent a little bit, but what I do get, I like very much. This is a great one. And so we've had some hits the last few days. And so sometimes you get disappointed and then sometimes you get great scents like this and the, uh, the Talbot soaps. Every one that I've tried has been very good in quality, so no quality issues whatsoever. He doesn't come out with them super frequently and I don't always um, uh, like every single scent. I haven't tried them all, but some of the times they're more earthy and, and so on. And I don't get those because I just know, you know, I, I try to always buy things that I like. I don't, I don't buy things just to show it on the channel. Typically every now and then I'll take a flyer and do that. But by and large, I am buying products that I want to keep and use. And this one, it's a hit. Um, if you're looking for super strong scent, I don't think you're going to find it in this one, but it's strong enough that it's enjoyable. And so, man, that's a nice lather too. Wow. We. Talbot is definitely good stuff. If you haven't tried it, I recommend you do. Uh, and if you like citrus scents, this would probably be a good one to start with, I think. The only, uh, the only drawback would be if you're just, if you're one of those people that have to have a, a blast in the face of scent, um, this, this doesn't do that, at least for, for my nose. Um, but it's still, it's plenty enough to enjoy, which is really what I look for. Let's get going. Very nice. Oh, the old buff, above the tie razors. Still doing it after all this time and doing it well. Kind of got lost in the uh, shuffle there for a while because there's so many premium razor makers today. Um, when above the tie first started, there weren't very many um, premium razors out there. It was, you know, above the tie, icon. There was a few others, handful. But, um, now there's many, and so I think some people have forgotten about about the tie. You should not, because it's still a very, very good razor, and it's made by very good people. Uh, Stan is—he's uh, no longer running the company, but Mariah said he's involved still. So, Stan, if you happen to see this, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying your retirement. Very nice, very nice indeed. I'm definitely. This is my favorite above the tie razor, the SSRH, I think it is. And I write it down because I forget. That's the one thing I'd say about above the tie is the <laughs> the uh, the naming sometimes, like us. Uh, it's hard to keep up with, but it does make sense the way they do it. So very nice, very efficient. The blade feels great in this razor, by the way. Feels uh, pretty sharp, I would say. I don't recall using this particular blade but it feels good. So we're off to a good start. That was nice. And the soap, I have to say, big thumbs up. I enjoyed that very much. Again, I wish it had a little more pop, but it's just enough to, to have me saying, yeah, I like it, yeah. <laughs> it's good, it's good. So I will be picking up the splash uh, probably towards the, the weekend or so. Hopefully it's still there. Because <laughs> it does sell out sometimes, but. Right now we've made so many investments in the channel. You know, we have to mind our budget a little bit. We just can't buy everything all the time. But whatever uh, does come in, like our good friends at Leaf, like I said, sponsoring the channel, that always gets reinvested into the channel via gear, via, you know, the camera, via, you know, editing software. I'm gonna be making incre incremental improvements and learning as I go. I'm still learning this camera. You know, I'm, I am not, I've not dialed it in. You know, mostly shooting auto. There's a lot to learn, and uh, it's exciting to 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 learn. And also with editing, you know, using something different, Final Cut Pro, um, just learning and you know, taking time. Uh, but the the changes will be incremental, much like the soap bases. You know, you usually don't get a soap base that's like from say version three to version four. That's like wow, that's an incredible change. It's just incremental. And that's what we're doing here too, is trying to make uh, incremental improvements. We're gonna improve the audio also. Now keep in mind this room, it's everything in here is a hard surface, tile, floor, the walls, there's nothing here to soften. So you're gonna hear that echo probably that 
my voice reverberating, but when I get home, try to improve the lighting, try to improve, you know, a little bit at a time, one step at a time, but it's fun. It's fun to try to make these improvements and try to grow and hopefully grow the hobby along with it. Uh, that is always uh, a goal of mine to, to grow the hobby. And every single time I get someone who says they're new, I'm like, welcome, welcome. You know, that's fantastic. That is probably the best feeling in this hobby, apart from getting great shaves every single day, is bringing new people in and going, hey, you used to hate this, now you like it, and soon you will love it. You will love it, just stay with us. My nose is itching, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you will love it, just, I promise you, stick with us. All right, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I got lost in my thoughts there. I've been doing two passes here to kind of keep the the video time down, although it's not hot down here in this restroom. I've been finding that with these efficient razors, two passes with a little residual slickness, shaving on residual is working great. So, and as you can see there, the tall bit is rinsing perfectly clean from the razor. There's no sticking to that. So again, as we say pretty much every day, that's a indication of a nice hydrated lather. Very, very slick. The Talbot is definitely a good quality soap. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. It's very nice. And the male grooming splashes. I have one, it's called, it was the Orange Tangerine, I think from last year or the year before. It is good, I love it. It doesn't hang around, would be my only, you know, thing, but it, it feels good on your skin. Um, a lot of people feel that the male splashes in terms of skin conditioning is, is one of the better ones out there, if not the best. And I would say it really is. Now, if your use case is someone who likes to use um, aftershaves more like a cologne, like you want to hang around, it may not be the best at that. But in terms of leaving your skin feeling nice, if you're interested, like a post-shave uh, product that's actually working towards the post, it, it does that. And so I will, I will pick the splash up. Very nice. Wow. I tell you what. This is just wonderful today. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this above the tie razor. I have really, I've been using them quite a bit more recently. Um, once we had them on Real Talk, I talked to them and they're like, you know what, those people that are above the tie, those are good, you know, salt of the earth, decent people. And uh, I really, really like the products, always have. Stan was a really good man, in my opinion. And I believe, uh, Mariah and Matt, um, her, he, now that the company is in the hands of his daughter and son-in-law, Matt being the son-in-law, Mariah being the daughter, and they're nice people. I'm going to go for three passes today. I'll do a quick lather so we don't spend all day. Man, my nose is really itching. And it's not because of this soap, because the no, the, uh, the scent of this soap is not itchy at all. It is fantastic. All right, let's, uh, wet the face just a little bit here with our mister. There we go. And we'll do a really quick lather and do an across. Why not? Let's treat ourselves a little bit today. We have a fantastic soap, a fantastic razor, fantastic brush, cashmere knot, absolute luxury. This feels like a pillow on your face. There's nothing harsh about it. And for me, when I'm shaving, I don't want anything rough. I want things to be smooth as silk all the time. If you have roughness when you're shaving, that's usually not good. You want to, you don't want to put your face through more trauma than it needs because you're using a very sharp steel blade that's cutting right at, you know, your skin level. So there's no need to fatigue your skin more than it needs to be by scrubbing it really hard. Now, some people like that. If you like it, it's okay, but it's not essential is what I'm saying. And I think early on when I first started, I thought it was essential to really scrub your face and, and uh, I found for me personally, that doing that scrubbing and exfoliating in the shower works far better than trying to do it with a soft shaving brush. Even if you have a brush with high backbone, you're probably not going to exfoliate that much, truth be told. And also, if you are exfoliating, you know, into that brush and whatnot, do you really want to be dipping that in your, in your soap? And, you know, me? No. You, you might, and it's okay if you do, but I don't want to. I like to keep my stuff clean and pristine. And I like to keep everything as tight as possible. 
everything looking good. Man, that's just fantastic. Very nice. We won't do a long third pass here today. Excellent. Smooth as silk. Very slick, the soap. So big thumbs up on the soap today. Big thumbs up on the razor. Actually, everything today is fantastic. And when we get to the splash, that's going to be fantastic too. <laughs> really awesome. And so if you need to go a little quicker, you can. As you can see here, I'm not taking all day on this pass. You know, we'll turn the razor around and then just do our cross pass very quickly. So you can speed up if you want to, but speed and traditional shaving should never really be the goal. But if you're in a hurry, you can certainly get a, a shave in quickly. Like that pass is pretty quick. No problem whatsoever. What a nice shave today. I tell you what, I have enjoyed this one today. That said, let's be honest, I enjoy most every day. So uh, anyway, thank you so much. Let me uh, rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove all the soap and then we used our Razor Rock Alum Nose Thing. So that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles or troubles. And that's how we like to do it here. Uh, anyway, excellent shave, no burning from the alum. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, then we towed off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to using the magic made by witches, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Excellent shave today with male, Talbot male, Frank and Lime, and I got this at the Razor Company. I really enjoyed it. Unless you're looking for a super stout scent, I think this is a winner if you like citrus scents. It is, I would call it subtly, um, Scented. Uh, it's it's really really nice though. I liked it. It is a keeper for me. Big thumbs up and the quality really really good. I enjoy that a lot. The above the tie razor, you know I enjoy a lot. And if you want to pick this up again, use discount code IMCDB for ten percent off. And also they do offer afterpay at uh, above the tie, so you can break your payments up into four payments. They send you the razor and you just pay it off if you like. Uh, it's been around for a long time for good reason, one of the sort of original uh, premium razor makers and still excellent shave today with it. The sharp blade was excellent in that too, by the way. That's the SSRH model. We also used our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series brush and our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug, our Captain's Choice bowl, and we're gonna finish it off today with the precious C4th sea spice lime i still stand by my comment from earlier this year this is one of the best scents of this year if not the best scent still in my opinion i know a lot of people disagree with me but also a lot of people agree too just fantastic this one is so bright it it's got an amazing pop it's a phenomenal scent um it's it's outstanding oh man that's it's just so good it's just so good and this is very different from the from the Franken lime in that it's like BAM right in your face with the citrus. Oh man, I love it. What can I say? <laughs> this is great stuff. If you haven't tried this yet and you are a fan of citrus, friggin' awesome. All right, thanks so much for joining me today, folks. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. Until then, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.